Now Prescott. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Here's a give to Smith, and he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled it. Game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tavon Austin, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Now Bailey to tack on the extra point. Bailey got the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? so tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together but every now and then partner you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things and I think that's what they're looking for right now yeah you talk about going to your playmakers they probably need to do it find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Wentz will try again on second down. Forced out to his left. And that's incomplete. The Eagles on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. Play action to Sproles. Wentz on the move to his left. Going long here for Wallace. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It was no secret who they were trying to get the football to. Well, no, they went to him on first down, second down, third down, all three incomplete. Yeah, and when you're unable to connect and you force it in that direction, all you're doing... And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Anytime a fake doesn't work... We usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Second down, Prescott. And he finds Beasley complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back, 
and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Now Prescott, and that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys add on. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that will extend this big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Wentz now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Here we go, here we go. They'll go option on second down, right side. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. The Eagles on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Wentz, he's got his man. That's Wallace. The 20, and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Wentz now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Into the red zone, Wentz. And he's got it. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Twelve more yards there and another first down. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. Yeah, what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. Right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. Second down, here's Wentz. And he whips that one incomplete there. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter about is it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. They isolate Jeffrey to the left side. To throw his wins. And the Eagles are in for six. That's well, been a tough day, but they finally were able to get one into the end zone, and maybe the offense will feel a little bit better about itself going into next week. And if you're a coach taking that into next week, I know you're upset, but it is a little bit more respectable, somewhat of a moral victory, right? Yeah, they probably won't say a lot of that to the team, but it is true. It's something for them to build on, and then they can call their mom and tell her, hey, mom, for your fantasy points, we got you a few down the stretch. 
Elliott on for the extra point. Elliott good with a PAT. And that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think of blowout... Because you won every game as a no, player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, a team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now is dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Prescott from the gun on third. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Single, single. On the ball. Wins to throw on second down. And an alley to run. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. And a play fake. Now Sanchez. Open man left side as well as complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 30 yards there. 
Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Here we go, here we go. Right here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. We've got a lopsided game here. I, I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? Yeah. Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance. Where they took control of this game. How they've managed to keep control of this game. And then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. We got three. We got three. We're going and eight. Eight, eight. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Fletcher Cox in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now on the year. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott now. And the pressure gets to him again. Michael Bannon in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. Well, now comes the Cowboys' punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now Sproles. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First and ten, here's Wentz. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Four 
Wentz again here on second and 10. Over the middle complete. It's Wallace. Great footwork, but still wrangled down before reaching the 20. The reception good for seven. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Shotgun now for Wentz. They'll roll him out right. That's going to be caught. And he'll be out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. They'll try to run it now with Sproles. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. They get it to him running left, and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means an awful lot. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Now it's Sproles. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And Elliott puts this one through. And that'll put us within three scores as it becomes now a 23-point game. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, there's something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A second down throw for Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 
That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott on first down. That escapes the sand. Sliding out of the pocket. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him. But instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pick up there to keep this drive going. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And they'll go on the ground. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of two. Now third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And out and out come the Eagles. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now wins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And... The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.